Hi everybody, uh, Richard and Judy here with Best talking about books for the Richard and Judy Book Club and all our summer reads out now. Um, hmm, scariest book that I've ever read. It's a short story actually, um, and it's in a book that Judy's reading at the moment. It's called The Langoliers, mm -hmm. and it's by Stephen King. Um, and it's about a, um, an aircraft, a passenger aircraft, where almost all the passengers disappear in, in mid-flight. Um, and only the ones who are sleeping don't disappear into some other dimension, they're never seen again. So the plane is left with about 10 people, um, and the pilot, thankfully, who's having a nap at the time. And uh, it's about how they somehow have to get back to the real world, because they're in some strange other world where there are these dreadful creatures called the Langoliers, who are basically eating reality and getting closer and closer to them. It's, it's a weird book to explain, but it's one a heck of a frightening read. Well, I would sort of agree about Stephen King generally. I think the scariest books I've ever read are definitely all by Stephen mm. King. He's an absolute master writer. I mean, he's dismissed a bit as being just a horror writer but actually he's, he's an absolute craftsman his, his, his writing is superb um, and I actually love The Shining hmm. uh, I actually enjoyed the book of The Shining uh, which Stephen wrote uh, more than the film I thought the film was great and of course it's a fantastic performance by Jack Nicholson but it was slightly slightly over the top and I know Stephen King himself hated it <laughs> hated the film the book itself is much scarier and much more mysterious and much odder it's not just about madness it's about all sorts of supernatural goings on at that big hotel what was it called the overreach, the overreach. no the overlook or the overlook or the overreach I think it's the overlook. so frightening you can't remember the name no. <laughs> anyway it's the shining <laughs>